Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Extremely Deus Vault, the most Christian man who's ever... A good, strong Christian soldier. What do you mean, last episode, we literally stole the Bones of St. Peter? I have no idea what you're talking about. So we're allowed to do anything, you know, we're within reason. That is respectful of, of course, our, our faith, and is in high reverence of the cross. We're allowed to... And, and honestly, we had to take the Bones of St. Peter. We had to save them from Rome. Satan, right there, right on the borders of Rome. We couldn't allow the Bones of St. Peter, such a glorious saint. I don't know what he did, but I'm sure he did something important. We can't let those fall into the hands of Satan, so I had to liberate them from Rome. Now, similarly, I'm looking at borders. I'm seeing Nice right there, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe we should liberate that from a man who is... Oh, look at this. A lustful, slothful, cynical, sinful man. He's a dirty, wicked man. A life of sin, therefore... We should liberate the province of Nice and incorporate into our glorious Christian domain. At least that's my plan going forward. Um, to start off with, though, obviously, our, our, ch our chancellor, although he's a bishop and I have the highest respect for him, is a bit garbage. So I'm going to go ahead and hire a good friend, Baldemar, who is st stuck also on the borders. We're also, like the Bones of St. Peter, going to liberate him from the borders of Satan himself. So we're going to bring you to court, and I'm going to turn you into our new... Uh, hello, welcome. I'm going to turn you into our new... Let's sack you... Chancellor. There he is. 15% chance the elite fabricate claims is kind of making me very, very sad. But what else can we do here? We're Christian. We have to play within the laws of the realm. Speaking about the laws of the realm, one way we can earn some money is, is legitimate sweat of our brow trading and exploiting, not exploiting, but but kind of exploiting people who want to buy our products here. So we are playing with uh, Flogie's Techmon and obviously Flogie's trade routes as well. That gives us access to a whole a whole other level of, um, of, of ridiculous gameplay here. So... On the, we, we can run a nice Christian business on the side whilst also slaying and killing infidels, heathens, and uh, other fa false gods, naturally. We need a son. Uh, not saying that there's anything wrong with the daughter, of course. They are God's gift to us, but we could do with a strong... What do we got? We've got strong and quick. Our wife has quick. So, at least a, a quick son. Strong and quick son would obviously be incredible as well. We're just going to have to pray and hope. Then, founding the Holy Band, I think, would be incredible. I've, I've Like I said, I've never done this before. The... Found a holy order. There is the bottom decision there for a large amount of fervor and piety. So fervor is, is just the society stat, which we're going to get a lot of because, as you can see there, we are a man of the cloth. Except not really. We are a man of God, though. Now we just need a whole bunch of piety. So I'm thinking, oh, theology focus is already there. We might have to go and launch some holy wars of our own, even if we don't want anything out of it, just to get the piety. How many troops have we got? 1,200. Okay, that's going to limit us quite a lot then. Uh, what about like the what about like Mallorca here? What have you got? They've got 5,000 men. But we have 28 Marshall. So with some clever with some clever plays here, we might be able to bring people on board. Now, another thing as well, us good Christians have to stick together in this world that is, is currently in, invaded by dirty, dirty, sinful pagans and heathens. We can form non-aggression packs with people who, um, who like us enough, you know, who we feel ally with our own goals here. Obviously, it wouldn't be our disgusting liege, the slothful, the slothful, wrathful, gluttonous and proud man. Definitely not. But if we found a respectable Christian guy that we wanted to bring on board, then we can offer a non-aggression pact and eventually we might be able to roll that into an alliance. And alliances are how I, exp I, I definitely plan on Pick up a lot of momentum here when we're stuck to basically being, you know, the province of Provence. We haven't got a lot going for us right now. We need to start preparing ourselves for the, the great holy war to come. Obviously, we're naturally a very gifted character in terms of martial. We've got, gone on a pilgrimage yesterday, which is how prepared our mind and our spirit. We need to prepare our body. Let's go on a warrior pilgrimage. It's going to cost us 500 further, and we're getting straight on a warrior pilgrimage. May God watch over me. I hope we don't instantly die, because as I recall, you can instantly die from this event. And let's also write ourselves a nice book. That way, if we do instantly die, at least we've done something with our legacy here. Relationships, managing around, in honor of God, or I shall chronicle my family history. Um, this is to give knowledge to our future generations. Although something in honor of God would be very thematic, I think we're going to have to teach them how to manage a realm. Because, of course, we can't manage a realm, and we can't even show reverence to God and build many, many temples and whatever else you would do if you had a realm, if there's no realm to manage in the first place. So we're going to try and get a nice little book called How to Build a Well. You may have heard of it. It's very, very good. I don't think this guy will get it, though. Oh, good. It's getting closer to the middle of the night, and you were prepared to sleep under the stars if it wasn't for this old half-rotten shack you just found. Yet, it somehow feels strange. You no longer hear any of the nocturnal racket of the wildlife, and the moon is now hidden in this heavy veil of clouds. Burn it to the ground. We might gain arbitrary or paranoid. Spend the night inside. We may gain brave, trusting, well-rested, giving us health and personal combat. Or we might be possessed, or we just might straight up die. Okay, maybe not then. Try to salvage something. Ooh. Brave, trusting, or there's a chance we die, but... There is a 20% chance of getting... Okay, so there's not quite. There's a 20% chance of nothing happening at all. There's a lot of gold potentially on offer. Um, you know, if they're not using it, 
we can put it towards the great name of the Lord and use it as part of our holy wars. We got something. Uh, we got some gold. I don't know how much we got, but we got some gold there. I'm not going to give this man any gold because I don't entirely trust him to invest it wisely right now. We ourselves will, will keep control of the realm's management for the time being. Great holy war for Leon. Oh, God. The mighty archdruid Lu has decided it's time to teach Ray Alfonso of Leon and the believers of the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All three druidic men are invited to take part in the scouring of Leon. Don is with us. Never. Not Don. Please, for the love of God. Um, well, there we go. We are now looking at a oh, holy war. Great. What terrible news. Oh, God. While roaming the lone road, you suddenly come face to face with a fairly old man. He is a, absolutely just straight up a fucking dragon. He announced himself as Heofothrim, Swordmaster. He claims to have heard your quest and offers to train your body and mind in the art of war. Is he? Oh, he's a Catholic. He's, ca he's Catholic. He's fine. There's me thinking he was a, a heathen. Teach me. Teach me. What can we do here? 26% uh, chance of no effect, 53% chance of improving your fighting skills, 13% chance of being wounded, 7% chance of being maimed, 1% chance of this dragon killing us dead. I'm ready for anything. We gain, what's the highest chance of just gaining something here? Um, maimed, maimed, I mean that's got picture of strong and brawny, but I don't think either of those are appropriate. Why don't you come to my court? We can invite this dragon to be a commander for us, that would be very, very cool. Lives for the sword, that's nice. Or, yeah, let's go for this one, you know what, um... 20, so what is that? 53% chance of improving our fighting skills. 65% chance of improving our fighting skills. We are ready for anything. You are on the path to improve your combat skill. We actually did it. Holy shit. Okay, this could be big. All we had to do was be trained by a dragon. Oh, and look at that. My liege, my working niece seems to have come to fruition by bribing, holding, extorting, and threatening and forging documents. Thank you. Lose 50 prestige, but we are doing it for the faith. So, of course, we would lose no piety for that. We would lose no... Who needs prestige anyway? Who needs prestige in the eyes of the Lord? The... The Lord of Genoa has 1,300, 1,320 troops. Should we also liberate the province of Noli from him? This man does not, this seems very suspicious. He is, he is clearly a, a, a virtuous man, but he seems fairly suspicious by the fact that he's wearing a goddamn evil hood. Uh, intrigue focus, and account, of course it's his liege's lands realistically. So I feel like we have to liberate those. I will also start fabricating a club on Noli. We'll see if we can grab both in one war. This is, uh, this is pretty big. I wonder if we can make a, uh... What's the promise of Genoa? Maybe if we take the whole thing, just conquest the whole thing and become the Duke of Genoa? Grandmaster Clement of the Knights Templar presents himself before you, followed by some members of the Order. Knight extremely, he says with a booming voice. Surely you have heard the call. All members must defend this man in the Great Holy War. Of course we shall. Of course we are now at war with there he is. Archdruid Lou. I don't really want to be... I don't really want to be dragged... What is that? The Spear of Lou. Fighting for the Celtic faith, this character acts as the long arm of Lou. I mean, that's to it. Well, they spelt it Lou there, but if you look at the high god here, they spelt it the Welsh way. How weird. Um, okay, let's do it. Spear of Lou. What is that? Woodwalker. That's also really cool. I noticed that uh, Ra, where, it he, where he'd also been on his crusade, also had uh, the Lion of Minute. Fighting with the Frost Diva Lion, this character was fought for the gods of Egypt. That's kind of part of the course, really. I wonder if Zeus has, like, the, the, equivalent, the equivalent trait. Nope, he's just Zeus the Lionheart. What a lovely name. Okay, um, do we want to join this war? We have to. We have to. It's for the faith, after all. We might build up our combat abilities as well. So, absolutely. Let's let's head over there. Let's, let's stop these goddamn heathens before they take some more of this loyal... We've already lost so much good Christian land. Why am I taking boats all the way around when I could have just walked? Well, okay, we're going to take the boats over to France, and then we're going to walk. Brilliant. Oh, we'll walk through Spain, whatever way is quicker. No, we are still going to go through France. Incredible. Excellent. Our warrior's journey has come to an end. Now we are ready to lead the charge. We're, there's 50% chance of getting... Oh, look at this. So this is one thing that's really cool about the Orders of Chivalry mod, is it has higher tiers of uh, your your warrior... Edu what would you describe that as? Your tactics. So, organize a holy warrior. We can gain either fervid or zealous warrior, and we got the higher level of fervid. This character can always motivate his troops to move faster. Movement speed plus 20%, retreat plus 10%. Damage against religious enemies plus 15%. Oh, shit, that's exactly what we wanted. Oh, my God. We have, we have become quite the zealot. My wife, Linny Half-A, is pregnant. Good for you. Let's get over here. Oh, I might have made a mistake there. You know what? As long as we're on the center, we can't fall. By God as my witness, you will you will not take these lands. You will not take these lands. I swear to God. Kill them. We might, we might be a little out of our depth here. You know what? Let's go home. Let's go. We don't want to be here. This is a silly place anyway. This is a, this is a silly place. 61 gold. My God, where are we getting all this gold from? Where do we get all that gold from? Did someone die in our court or something like that? Maybe we did... I have no idea. 
And yet another morning when I wake and feel as tired as when I went to bed. Perhaps it's just something about my listless mind. Of course, we'll seclude ourselves from after that crushing defeat. Maybe, maybe God isn't as powerful as we thought. Oh no, of course he is. Of course, what am I talking about? We gained kind. We were already kind, so I feel like, like, I've, been, like I've been stolen from a little bit there. But that's okay. So... Let's get the whole of Genoa. I want to be the Duke of Genoa. This is this is all going to be mine. It's a fil like, it's a merchant republic. All they do is live to take gold from others. We must we must we must solve this problem. Enric Deus Vault. <gasps> and he also got the claim, you beautiful man. Enric Deus Vault. Silver tongue. A silver tongue Enric. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. He's the best child we've got so far. Right? I can't believe we've got a fucking trait that neither us or our wife have. Unbelievable. Enric Deus Vault with a silver tongue. You, my child, will be trained in do not even talk to me about magic of vile art. Enric. What's, what type of name? Now I've got to decide on the naming scheme for this episode. Uh, what do I name the other two? Willingly and please. Enric, you are you are a talker. You're a diplomat. You will be called... You will be called... A strong Christian knight. A strong, just Christian knight, Galahad. Galahad Deus Vault. Could there be a more perfect name for this playthrough? Alright, we've got everything, haven't we? Right, okay then. Um, Let's send you up to like... I don't really know. I mean, what are the claims we really want at this stage? Uh, what about Sard oh, I was going to say, what about Sardinia and Corsica? Are they independent? No, they're in the Luciferian Church. That's, I'm not going there. That's a strange place. Let's start getting claims, I guess, just around our starting province. We can't even move the guy yet because he's been there too quickly. All right. 2,100 men. We have 419. We need to bide our time. We need to build up our forces ready to take away, ready to, ready to kick out these vile men, these vile money-grabbing men. Uh, we could do with a better commander, though. Wait, I, there's an option to do that if you're part of the society, right? Um, go on to another warrior pilgrimage. Of course, we do need to do that at some stage as well. Um, hire a holy commander. Welcome. You've interviewed several knights from the Knights Templar in order to recruit someone to command your armies against the infidels. This could not be any more perfect. Rogear. Rogear is a misguided warrior, but he's a shield bearer. He might not be you know, officially trained to deal with the armies, but he has a natural talent for it. I shall make good use of your skills, Rogear. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and sack you because you're kind of garbage compared to him. Let's train up some troops. Let's build up our, our domain. And then when we're ever we're cured of this disease, which of course God will guide us in that, whenever God takes away our disease, we're going to we're gonna get back out there. We're going to get back into shape and start the whole republic. Wait. That's the duchy level title. If I say that, do I become a republic? No, it's just a duchy level title. It's just a duchy level title. That's insane. Good, good. After days, my cough has gone. Shame I can't say that in real life. Right, let's do it. Go on a warrior pilgrimage. Let's see if we can upgrade Holy Warrior into whatever the hell is the trait above that one too. This guy's going to be a powerhouse. Against religious enemies, they stand no chance. Against our own guys, you know, I mean, we, we, don't, we obviously don't want to fight too many Catholic faithfuls. These guys, like I said, money-grubbing, sinful men. But against our enemies, we're going to absolutely annihilate them. The road can be full of dangers, but nothing is more dangerous than being ill-prepared. We can try and find a, a, a merchant and buy the first thing we see. We can go and hunt. There's a chance of us becoming brave. Absolutely. I would love to be if we didn't get anything there. We're now just we're now just straight up hungry. Oh well that's terrible. Last a year? Last a year we've been hungry for a year? I think we I think we might end up dying. Ooh, I tried to salvage the thing and we got ourselves brave. Thank you, I appreciate that. I was just about to say, um the whole whole holy war and thing. Uh Lucifer is currently defeating the HR in a war, which is of course our our liege lord. Uh the druids are also destroying most of Spain. We're going to have to act very quickly. Like, I feel like we're being closed in on all sides here. Oh, my God. They've taken Brittany as well. Wait, that wasn't part of there, was it? Oh, God. Maybe they, like, offered them vassalage or something because, of course, Brittany is, is Britonic. So, they, they were part of the Celtic Celtic, uh, Celtic realms there. Oh, my God. Look at how many of them there are. Shit. Successful Great Holy War. Rhiannon has granted Archdruid Lou victory in the Great Holy War against Ray Alfonso VI of Leon. God damn it. A month of celebration across the pagan world. Cursed infidels. I feel like I could have done so much more there. This man. He's Han, but he is Catholic. Oh, he's Catholic, though. It appears that you can't take two steps without some bandits or knights challenging you to, as another man faces you yet again. Duel to the death. Duel to blood. Skip the duel engine. There is 43% chance we become a trained fighter from this. Of course. He has 33 combat. We have 33 combat. Let's do it. Do we get him? Vanish without a trip. Do we get him, though? Novice, novice fighter. I guess we will never know. We're home. We lose the warrior pilgrimage. We lose the Trey Holy Warrior. And instead, we gain Zealous Warrior. In one episode, we've gained like plus 30% damage against religious enemies. That is perfect. Never is there anything more perfect done in the series. Let's get into shape. Start running with heavy locks. We're going to burn off some of this fat. We're also going to request military training to try and build up our... Our actual, you know, our swords go. We're very good at leading troops, but we need to build up our own personal combat a little bit. Having defeated that poor man in combat, we went into some seclusion and gained Tempera. My god, what an honorable man we are. 
Follow his advice. Now, this guy, oh, Knight Dice Win, of course, he is definitely a man's follow. Do we want to gain Shy? Well, normally, if they're wrong on their advice they're offering you and to be a better warrior, you can ignore it and it'll say something like, oh, my gut tells me that I am I am doing the right thing here. So I'm going to follow his advice. Well, we trust a bishop, obviously, just implicitly anyway, because he's a bishop. But this one, become arbitrary? No, I, I think we, 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 we can have a bit more self-confidence and that's try and gain arbitrary. Excellent. Your training is over. You've enjoyed a lot more less relevant training. All better to serve God. We're now a trained fighter. We are now a trained fighter. And now I think we are ready to fight Genoa. Oh, God. They're under attack from who? They're under attack from... Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's, it's not a big deal there. I thought that, that uh, Satan had decided Genoa would look nice added to his empire. 1,500 men. We have 1,100 men. Are we fully reinforced, though? Not quite. We can get another 200. And then with this guy leading the armies, I think we may be unstoppable. Now, before we go into our first major war, all good crusaders, all good Christian warriors need themselves a good Christian horse. Let's go to the Mount Market. You arrived at the Mount Market, a place where many merchants and nobles gather in order to find the best horses and other rideable beasts in the land. There are many things to see here, and thus you decide to start with. Obviously, we've got mounts, mount armor, and mount equipment. I assume that's like lances and stuff. This is obviously going to be horse armor. Mounts. We would like to buy some horses. Do you want to buy a low-quality horse, a decent horse, or only the best horse? Well, we have 560 gold. We're not going to spend this on disgusting things like beer and women. Ale and women are for only sinners. We shall buy ourselves a nice war charger. Oh, wow. A war charger sounds appropriate. A strong Frankish charger, even stronger. One of the most powerful mounted forces in Europe. The horses are meant to be in the middle of the battlefield. Done. Did I just did I just spend 400 gold on a horse? Of course I did, but look at that man. Holy shit. Movement speed plus 15%. Mounted troops plus 15%. Leading the center plus 10%. Personal combat skill plus 10. All of those war all the treasures we gathered from our warrior pilgrimages have allowed us to buy this this golden horse. This golden horse. We need to employ a stable master. Um, I require the services of only the best. These men dedicate their lives to carrying for horse and other beasts. They are unwilling to hold titles or marry. Um, we can't really afford too much here. We can't really afford too much. I also don't really know what this would do for us. Improve their lifespan and reduce the chance of unfortunate incidents occurring. We spent 300 gold. Are we going to get ourselves into a... No, I'm going to I'm gonna get ourselves a learned man. A man who is good with training horses here to ensure that we're not going to... There he is, our stable master. Did he get like a minor title or something? Did I read that right? Um, we got master of the horse. Apparently not a stable master. Ah, oh, there he is. Stable master Davi of Provence. There he is. Learned stable master. That's very, very cool. Mount Welfare plus 10%. Oh, that's really cool. They've done like a lot for this, huh? Right, okay. So we want to set up then. Master of the Horse. I feel like we've got to give that to our Stable Master, but, but, but apparently we can't here. Okay, fine. Cupbearer? Fine. Baldemar, you are my Cupbearer now. And we can take on a Squire. Um, we can take on either of our daughters as a Squire here, both of which have uh, Curious. Willingly, you are now my Squire. We'll obviously take on our son as well as, a, uh, as, as his Guardian and try and educate him in, in the ways of Warfare as well. Good. Someone needs to educate our other daughter. She's weak. Just just be careful with her. Please please don't break my daughter. No. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. Odin has organized the Yom's Vikings. They are devoted to Thor, Odin, and the other Norse gods. He hasn't vassalized them, though, which is quite good. So he hasn't just basically got himself a free holy order. But as Odin and as the Filka, maybe he can just hire them for free. I've never considered that before. War Chief Pal Pal, Pal of the Yom's Vikings. Well, I mean, we haven't got to worry about them. We're all the way down on the med, but that could be a problem for the future. Now, I want to get, before we head out to war here, let's go to the Mount Market. Let's also get into shape as well. We're going to we're gonna have a nice feast this time around. Mount Armor. Um, so we've got Horse Armor, Unique Armor, or Exotic Armor. Um, What do we do? What do we do? Uh, horse Armor, Exotic Armor, Unique Armor. What does that mean? Oh, God. Frankish Horse Armor. Heavy enough to slow down your horse, but looks quite impressive. We've got Exotic Armor. Um, so we can just buy any here. Magnificent exotic armor, durable exotic armor. I feel like Frankish armor for our Frankish steed seems the best. Well, what else have we got here? What's the other option? Other mount equipment. A mastercrafted saddle, some sturdy horseshoes, a long sturdy lance. Thought about that. And then a shield as well. We need all of these. Oh my god, a banner to display your heraldry. A caparison. Oh my god, there's so much. Um, we need to save up a little bit first. Thank you. I appreciate that. We can still ride our horse into battle, of course. We don't, we don't necessarily need ourselves the, uh, all, all those crazy extra things. God will be our lance. God will be our lance. And oh my god, I hope this works. Let's get to war, team. Let's do it. The first important... This is important. We can't fail this, because this is, this, is this is a big battle here. Right, minor titles. Let's give these out to, uh... Oh my god. We've only got room for two commanders, huh? Let me hire another man. Let me hire another man of God to come and lead our lead our troops here. Welcome. Oh, he's incredible. He's incredible. Wise leader. Flanking and damage against religious enemies. Perfect. Exactly what I was after here. I wonder if the Knights Templar specifically have these religious traits. 
Because I don't remember having these last time. Like, like all of them have upgraded into something that gives more religious damage. You kind of assume that would be the case. All right, so let's go ahead and sack uh, Gervais. Thank you, Ricky. Let's get ourselves Gerard instead. Good. He's, he's, a, he's a strong man. I would love to have him on my flank. He is a wise leader, after all. Let's also get uh, Elbs, Bishop of a Axe. I don't know how you say that. And off to war we go. Where are the troops? Where are the troops? We win that one. Uh, okay, let's not worry about that then. Who are they at war with right now? Um, defending against the Upper Burgundy. Oh, Conquest of Nice. Damn it. Okay. Uh, and that's obviously us. And then that's an embargo war. Fine. So we've got to try and grab what we can. We might miss out on Nice though, unfortunately. Which does suck a little bit. There are their men. There are their men. Okay, keep a very close eye on that. If they get attrition down or something. Or they might even try and attack us here. Which would... They're coming into us. There is 1,600 versus 1,400. We've got ourselves an incredible horse, don't forget. We have ourselves a fantastic horse. Not only that, we've got Extremely and we've got Gerard. You will, you will try and stop us, but God will defend us. God will defend us. God, please defend us. My court physician, Richard, has suggested, for God's sake, Richard, right in the middle of battle. <laughs> My liege, he's running alongside the horse of us. My liege, I need some books of rare ingredients. Fine, we'll just chuck him a, chuck him a purse midway through the battle here. The upkeep cost of your mounts will now be deducted. If you disable this notification, it will be deducted. Okay, fine. Um, good God, these horses cost money, huh? Nailed it. Nailed it. They did not stand a chance. 48% war score here. I told you God would be our guide. Richard did a good job then. Thank God it wasn't a complete waste of time him coming into the middle of the bloody battlefield. Uh, oh, what? Any sense of discipline is lost. The men start to rob, burn, and pillage. How dare they? I will stop them immediately and hang the culprits. How could they do such a thing? Well, our weak leader... Damn it, I've, uh, my men. They, we, need to, we need to discipline these men. This is unbelievable. Ask my friend to join the war. Ask a friend for some monetary help. Do we want to ask the Cardinals for some donations towards our liberation? Of course. We're doing this in the name of God. So if they could offer us anything, they can't. They can't. Cardinal guy, you know what? I don't blame you, of course. Spend that money on arms for the poor. Just as we're about to finish the siege, we think everything's safe. Let's, let's see what trait we get this time. Look at this man. Kind, chaste, diligent, brave, temperate, humble. What an incredibly Christian soldier. Right, let's move over to Genoa. Can we even siege Genoa? They've only got 500 garrison. We can. We've taken a lot of heavy losses from defenders. So hopefully, hopefully we're not going to take so much that it sets us back and prevents us being able to siege this place down. Could try an assault, but I think that could be horribly, horribly risky. Now, I don't know who else has just joined us here. If the siege is won, Genoa will be under the control of us because we've started it. Someone else has the army of... Uh, Transgerania. I don't know why that is, but we can assault this down now using their troops as fodder and win ourselves the war. We're now the Duke. We're now the Duke of Genoa. That's so incredible. Did we also get this? We did. Nice. So we managed to beat the other people to grab grabbing Nice as well. Look at that. Glorious. Glorious Genoa. Do we want Genoa to be our capital? Because that does have a lot of subholdings. To be fair, so does Provence. But this one we could hold both the castle. You obviously can't hold the city. Uh, but we could hold the other castle. Which will give us a lot of bonuses. There is, we can't hold all of it, naturally. Now, we need to give away uh, Noli as well. Um, excuse me, Lazaro, could we, could we potentially convince you to give us that castle back? No? Damn it, I'm going to have to give this one out. And then, apparently, they've also got Savona there. What else do we pick up? Oh, and this one's a temple. Shit, okay. Um, oh, my God, none of this is out. This is very confusing. Okay, fine. Um, I'm glad we've got independence, though. That's, that's obviously a fantastic start. And Genoa, two castles as well. That's going to help out a lot. I'm sorry, did I just, did I just see that right? Commander, Commander Matthias. What is this? This character's been exposed. And everybody knows what kind of a monster he is. A werewolf in my court. An infidel, a heathen, a heretic. Asked, get out of here. Send, to, send him to a holy order. Good lord. Send him off to the, uh, the Fratrum Hospitalis or the Ordo Templi Salomoniki. Uh, I'm going to send you off to either of them so that they can try and cleanse you. Oh, wait. We lose 50 of piety. Wait, what? We lose 50 piety? For sending a man to a holy order? Take, take the vows. No, we still lose 50 parts. No, okay, fine. You know what? Maybe we can maybe we can turn him back to the, the proper Christian way forward here. He's he's quite a pious man. He's obviously virtuous here. Just not a big fan of having werewolves in our employ. It just doesn't seem right. Just because we've won one war doesn't mean that we can afford to rest. We've got to request some more military training. Let's try and get into shape. Ah, excellent. We've burnt fat and now we finally got ourselves into perfect shape there. 10% fertility, 0.5 health. Sex appeal plus six and personal combat skill plus five. We're doing it all for the Lord, of course. Ignore the sex appeal and the fertility. That's not relevant. We're not doing that for the Lord. But the, but the combat, you know, the whole the whole day is fortin thing. Now, there's a random Duke just kicking around there. Oh, right, he's a bishop. I apologize for... I'm not a big fan of this. Because we've got Provence, and obviously it's the it's the Duchy of Provence. So I kind of want to start heading upwards. Um, The Pope. The Pope gives us it. The Pope says we're allowed? And I assume the Pope likes this quite a lot because, of course, we're an incredibly virtuous man. He's a powerful, eldritch scholar pos possessed. 
Depressed? The Pope's, Pope's an Eldritch Scholar? What the fuck is the Pope doing being an Eldritch Scholar? Well, either way, the Pope has willed it. The Vicar of Christ himself has willed it so that we would be allowed a claim on, on this province here. Acceptance, 33. Base reluctance is minus 50. He is the same culture as her. She is a woman, which gives him plus 50. That's absurd. Not only that, she has low piety. Oh, she has high piety. She's diligent, she's patient, and he has a high opinion of her. More to the point, look at us, though. We're extremely zealous, chaste, temperate, diligent, kind, and humble. Thank you, Pope. Much appreciated. We now have a claim on the province of, of well, the, the Duchy of Provence. Thank you. Your claim has been granted. How many troops do they have? So, I'm sorry. This is the will of the Pope. How can I say no to this? Let's let Genoa recover. There's obviously a lot of disease there as well. Let's let it recover. Let's let some of these modifiers disappear. Then we'll turn up with our new Genoese forces. Extremely dare's fault is now known as the true steel. The true steel. How, how, I mean, I would have liked to have known about that one, to be completely honest with you. Let's have that as a pop-up in the future. My God. Thank you. That's incredible. What a great nickname for our dude. We are actually the sword of God at this point, so that's not much of a surprise. Wife is 37. Okay, come on. We've got to get that strong. If we can get that strong, quick son. That, excuse me, who we at war with? Oh, God. Who we at war with? Um, let's, let's, let's not worry about that. That's not important. I very much doubt, I'm very much doubt it's who I thought that was at a glance there. Get into shape. Well, to be honest, we're already in perfect shape, so we'll, we'll wait on a while on that one. It's, it's fairly expensive as well, having all these decadent feasts all the time. We won't worry about that for the time being. Ah, Sergeant Jacob, thank you, has stepped forward to make us more virtuous Persian. Oh, God, wait, what? Uh, word of my pledge to Tatasty has reached the Pope, who sent me a courier with a letter of approval and his blessing. We can become celibate. The Sassina should be celibate in 20 piety. I mean, we've had four children. How many more children could you need after that stage, huh? Dedicate a mass to chastity. Or, thank God, quietly in the chapel. Celibate gives plus five Christian church opinion, plus ten same trait opinion, plus one monthly piety. Of course. Of course I shall do that. These claims that we're going to be able to get by being a very... Ah, oh, she's quick. Shit. Um, I mean, as in, damn it, why couldn't she have been a son? Uh, let's train you in, I guess, struggle as well. We need more Christian soldiers. Uh, let's assign you a guardian while I also very, very quickly think of a name for you. So just patient and charitable is left to get for the virtues. Kind again. Fucking game, good god. Follow his advice, 10% chance of gaining brave. Obviously, there's no downside following his advice there. We've already got brave anyway, so we might as well roll with it. If we get some that are like, you know, follow his advice, chance of gaining arbitrary, I might still ignore it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, like this one. You got tells you he's know what he's talking about. You got tells you he doesn't know what he's talking about. I think we can pick her either option then, and there's actually no impact on our on our training. We can also rank up to the level of prior. Offer nan land to the Knights Templar. Absolutely not. Um, or perhaps, perhaps if it's got what, what God wants. Oh, God, I don't want deceitful. I don't want, oh, God, we're deceitful. That doesn't seem right at all. Although, apparently the church doesn't really, uh, apparently the church doesn't really care about it. The honor is mine. Your contribution to the order and your service to God has been duly noted. I hereby grant you the honor of rising up to the ranks of the Knights Templar. Thank you. Signed, Grandmaster Clemen. We are now a prior. Wow, what a, what a cool rank. Marshal plus two, learning plus one, temple vassal opinion plus 15. We can now found a holy order. How do we do that? Why? What would what, what, that do for us? Where is it? Uh, found a holy order. Mark is important. This, this, sounds, this sounds like it could be a big decision. All of the following must be true. We have to be a duke. We have to have 2,000 fervor and 500 piety. We've got 5,000 prestige. Excuse me. How have we got 5,000 prestige this quickly? Well, that means we can found a bloodline already. What the hell? That's insane. Oh, thank you. Kaiser Octokar Ok, 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 ok the plan is to transfer the vassalage of um, this dude. So this is a random city we had there in Nice. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. There's a chance of my daughter becoming Tempera. Of course she would be Tempera. She's also a horse caretaker. Oh, right, because of course I made her our squire. I right, got it, I got it. Um, we'll go for martial education as well. So how are we looking in terms of our, our heir then? He is currently rowdy, which is obviously very good. Six years of age, three diplomacy, four martial, three stewardship, three intrigue, and three learning. Can we make him our squire? Now, as I recall, the squire trait is good for building martial characters because it's very min maxi, but you lose like intrigue, learning, diplomacy, stewardship, that type of thing. So you can see their local tax modifiers down as well. Just because you're only being taught about martial, we're putting all of our eggs into one basket there. But to be honest, it worked out. It, it worked well here for extremely true steel of Genoa, and it worked goddamn well for our children as well. Sorry, it worked Satan damn. Is that the right? Am I? I don't think you use Satan's name in vain like that. Anyway, Galahad, you will be my squire instead. I apologize, my daughter, but he is our true heir after all. Trusting, Ooh, risky. Trusting isn't too bad. Like I said, if it's like arbitrary or something, I think I'll ignore that one. Again, we'll ignore this one as well because I think that one means we can 
basically carry on without having to risk our training. Shit. I received word that your spy master has been spying on one of my counties. Thanks, Zeus. Very cool. What is it like getting mail from Zeus, you're probably wondering. Um, pretty lackluster, to be honest, especially now because I have to find a new goddamn spy master. Okay, go and study some tech. Go and, go and learn the secrets of these pagans. We shall use it against them. Training is over, and there's a chance for... Oh, we gain patient. Oh my god, the only virtue we're missing now then is charitable, and that's actually fairly easy to get. You want us to be your commander? I appreciate the offer. We're going to say no for the time being, because we need to command our own armies in the name of God, obviously. Quest more military training. But just constantly do that until eventually we become that formidable warrior. And on Provencal architecture, apparently that just means uh, Provencal is like the old Octon word for provincial. Um, you know, because we're from Provence. So we're essentially Ocaton. I didn't, I didn't quite realize that. Okay, then. What does that do for us? Uh, oh, build cost minus 10%. Very good. We can build many, many more churches with that. Come on. Come on. Give us charitable. Shit, we got kind again. Come on. You shouldn't be able to get another one that you've already got. That's ridiculous. Thank you all for watching. What a glorious episode this has been. From Count to Duke. From a, from a trained marshal to a fervid, zealous warrior with some increased personal combat. A celibate man who is kind, chaste, diligent, brave, temperate, humble, deceitful, and patient. We have become the, the king of virtue. Now, I think because we've got so much, we, we would be able to basically point ourselves, oh, and don't forget we're going to go to war for this as well tomorrow to get the whole of Provence. Don't forget, I think we can just point at any title now and basically say request come, and the Pope will basically say yes always because we are the most diligent and zealous man who's ever lived. This is insane. This is insanely overpowered. I was worried about this being way too slow, but my God, was I wrong. Who would have known being a glorious Christian would give you so much power? Thank you for watching. Let's give a shout out to those with all the power over the channel, the insane top tier level patrons who've made this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scott, Asuna Kirito, Atmos, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Facundo Vasquez, Fluffer Nutter, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenan Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Moss Grapple, Nathan Flores, Necrophilin, Pelvis Presley, Scott, Skaz, Shayek Sinclair, Sir Thor the Swedes, Tanis the Manis, The Forsaken One, T Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kennel, and Vacuous Backers. Thank you for your support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place this is uh this is gonna all start kicking off tomorrow i think so uh, make sure you stay tuned shout of course as well goes out to asaro adam person akari andrew wilson attila bordoon ben trope betsmas max better valerian chris david van diepen don don 22 and 7 easier to pronounce name exploding knees fraser brennan gabriel faulkner gabriel van Ders, gaz genji zirka gray haji Dumar, hancock i see the great irish isaac israel jacob wolf jay lara james barnes jason jose you on debris john holiday jordan campbell joseph beer justin plot justin walters lemon stark lost me Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lemberg, Nick, Noah Animal, Pan, Sammy, Panther, Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Olgar, Billionaire, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach Pillar, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow.